Hey Lori, my name is Erin and as promised, I have just a quick video for you showing you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. So without further ado, we will go ahead and get into it. Uh, the three things that I want to cover today are going to be content, citations, and backlinks. Um, so first up is content and that is anything that you can see here on your website that does also include the pictures, uh, what's behind the pictures and what the pictures are saved as as well. Um, all of that would be considered content to Google and to them content is king. So um, the more content you have, the more opportunity you have to be able to put in those keywords and key phrases um, that you're trying to be found for when people are going to be looking for your services. Um, so I would suggest getting some more content on your website. Um, again, that just really gives you more of an opportunity to put in those keywords and key phrases that when people go and, you know, search for garage door services or garage door repair in Google, um, you're the first one that comes up. I do see too that you have these um, sub pages here, which is great. Um, that'll help you fit in more content as well, especially the, the blog. That's awesome that you guys have that. So that's really all that I have for you as far as that's concerned. Um, the second tip that I have is going to be citations. So I did a Google search just for garage door repair um, in Colorado. And so for that, um, first thing you'll see is this section here. This is what we call the map pack and citations have a lot to do with that section. Um, so what a citation is essentially is your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories all throughout the web. Um, you may be asking yourself, what is a directory and how the heck do I get myself listed in one of those? Um, but to put it simply, it's basically things like yellow pages, uh, Facebook, which I know that you have, which is great, um, LinkedIn. LinkedIn, Yelp, and any other places online that allow business owners to add those business details and services within there. Uh, those would be considered directories. So in order to rank high on the maps here, you would need to make sure you're looking at your competition's directory listings and seeing what they're currently being listed in. And then you would want to go out and get yourself listed there as well. Um, but you do not just want to stop there. Whatever your competition has, you want to make sure that you get that and then you add more. That way you're completely dominating them in that space and that will help you high, uh, excuse me, to rank high in the search here as well. So now that we've covered the content and citations, we will move on to backlinks. And backlinks have a lot to do with this section down here underneath the maps. This is called the organic section. Um, and basically what a backlink is, is there's a website out there that has a link to your website and it's pushing power to your site, which is also potentially bringing traffic to you. Um, but all backlinks are not created equal. So for example, say that there's an ice cream shop out there that uh, you all did some work for, and they've decided that they're going to send a link from their site to your site. But unfortunately, that link, of course, is going to be all about ice cream. So it's really not going to do much good for you since it has nothing to do with your business. Uh, we would want to get links from another uh, garage service or garage door repair company that's sending a link back to your website saying, yes, they are a garage door repair, garage door service company. Uh, that's going to be a lot more powerful because it's unique, but it's also relevant to your industry as well. So looking at... Um, a tool that I have here. This is called Arifs and I did put your website into it. It's not coming up with any information for your website, uh, but I did pull up that first person listed in that organic section underneath the maps, um, father and son garage door company, uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what we're talking about here. So it looks like they have 40 referring domains which is giving them 756 backlinks and getting them found for 727 keywords. So all of that is pushing about 303 people monthly to their website. And I did also pull up some keywords that they're using here just to see. And we're going to pay especially close attention to this section here. This is the volume section. Um, this is showing roughly about how many people are searching for this particular keyword or key phrase on a monthly basis. So you would want to get buyer intent keywords. So anything that anybody, when they think uh, my garage door is broken and I really need to find somebody to fix it, anything they're going to be typing into Google to find that person to fix it is what we would consider a buyer intent keyword.
So um, it looks like uh, this particular company is ranking for Garage Door Services, which has a huge volume, as you can see. Um, they're ranking for their business name. So, of course, I mean, anytime anybody puts their business name in, they are going to come up. Garage Door Repair Colorado Springs. Uh, that's a great buyer intent keyword that does have a high volume as well. Um, Garage Door Colorado Springs. Garage Doors Colorado Springs. Um, so that just kind of gives you an idea of the kind of things that you would be looking for to work in to any content that you have on your website. Um, and really, in order to beat out your competition, you would just want to make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places that they're being found. And just like the citations, you don't just want to stop there. To really and truly beat out your competition, you want to make sure that you're getting whatever they have and then you're adding on to that. Um, but that's pretty much all that I have for you today. I hope this video has been helpful and educational for you. Um, if you'd like to know more about how I can help to grow your business via your online presence or you have any questions, uh, please reach out to me and we can certainly chat. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. I hope you have a great rest of your day.